whilst I think it's helpful to have the landscape of the children hopefully believe that their parents and their teachers are people they can trust and they will very much honour what they're saying, I think it's also very important for them to have some kind of awareness that they make their own choices. So, for example, if you take a very, very young child and you say you must put on your coat because you are cold. Well, actually, somebody from an external perspective telling that child how they feel. And actually, the child is the only person that knows how they feel. So if you have somebody from the, in, an, in an authoritative position, either a teacher or a, a parent, always saying, well, you feel like this. I think there is this idea that over time, if you're always told how you feel, you actually almost switch off your own emotions to how you actually feel. So in the future, let's take you're a teenager and you're walking in a street and you turn down the side road and it's actually dark and your gut feel is, this doesn't feel right, I shouldn't be here. If you're, if you've switched off to your own internal dialogue of how do I actually feel, you might actually ignore that, that sense of self and your own ideas. So I think it can be very dangerous to 100% only trust or, or to instill this idea of the teacher is always right, the parent is always right, I will tell you what to do, I will tell you how you feel. That there is, there's definitely a more, a higher hit rate, I suppose, of Chinese students, particularly, dare I say it, Chinese girls, and it shouldn't make a difference, but it seems to be Chinese girls are incredibly compliant um, from my experience. And if they're asked to do something, they will just do it. The boys are a little bit more rebellious. Maybe they're trying to play up in class of like, oh, I'd do something different. But I think if British children, I think I think they are, are quite often just doing something different just to be annoying. Like, oh, I don't have to do that. Generally speaking, I think if they if students in the UK or they if they can see a reason to to why they're being asked to do something, I think generally speaking, they will do it. If they don't see a point or they don't see any personal gain, you may have some kind of resistance. Um, but I think there will be less resistance from traditionally from Chinese students.